Good morning, Privateer FX fans. Coming at you at the European Open here. Quick look at this dollars R chart. 12.03, very, very important. Bull bear point followed by 12.20. It's been well documented how bearish I am on Czar. We're just waiting for another piece of bad news to get this, this ship moving. Uh, keep an eye on 12.03 today uh, and the coming days. It's a percent away, so it makes it a little bit awkward. So without news, it's not exactly a momentum trade, but on a daily close, uh, it'll be important. We got what we wanted in dollar CAD yesterday. Longs through 130 now should be traded. Resistance is up at 130.80 today. Support Support is down at 129.90. Sell high ones, buy low ones. Keep your core average long intact. Um, really, the the target on this is 131.70. So you want to be keep core longs on for 131.70, and then the kill on this is 129.80. What else we got? Sterling. We printed 139.90 twice yesterday. 88 the high the first time, 89 the high the second time. And then we printed down 139.11. So we've had this sort of hectic sideways movement where it hasn't really done anything basically. We're on the 139 handle. Um, and today it's the same. Same strategy. Prices above uh, 140, uh, we will be getting long sterling. Um, we don't really have a strategy to get short sterling. You could argue that back down through 139, the figure is important, but we're just waiting for 140 patiently, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, hoping for the same type of price action as yesterday we got in dollar CAD. What else is out there? Dollar yen. Dollar yen doesn't trade up very well. We traded up to 37 last night on a late move, and then Tokyo came in, smashed it down. I kind of like to sell dollar yen today, and this kind of kind of have a funny feeling we're going to see 105 today. I don't know why. It's just a sort of intuition type feeling. So careful on that as a trading signal, but. We're going to start building into shorts between uh, 80 and 10. We're at 92 right now. We will add to shorts through 80. And we will add to shorts again through 45. And I think once we're through 105.45, the car, the inevitable car crash that's 105 the figure will attract. So, short dollar yen theme today. Euro yen broke the 130.50 last night in Tokyo. We were not involved. It's right back at 130.50 now. Um, unclear what's going to happen Euro yen because Euro might go higher. Uh, today we have labor costs and CPI out in Europe, so that, that might move Euro. Middle of nowhere. <laughs> What's important in Euro, well, 122.73 on the downside, 124.50 on the top side, so no, no trade in Euro. Dollar Swiss is kind of interesting, but it's Dollar Swiss. And we're not too good at Dollar Swiss, but 95.34. This is a very interesting point on the dailies. We've got FOMC rate decision next week on Wednesday. I think they're pretty obviously going to raise rates. Um, this will create even uh, more pressure on dollar Swiss topside as the SMB kept rates at minus 75 yesterday. 95.35 might come into play. So if we see dollar strength today, if you don't feel like selling euro through 122.73, have a look at 95. 34 in dollar Swiss. Equities, 
not doing a whole lot in Asia, but we're on the lower end here. We've got uh, the June futures are at 2754. Pretty muted range. 50, 60 overnight. Prices down below 2746 are going to uh, be important today. It really feels like the left hand side is the risk side. But we've had four days down and we had a sort of a doji type day yesterday. Um, so we're not going to put any trades, any new trades on in, in, on the equity side. We're short a couple of single single names, single stock names. Um, but as far as the index goes, we have our short structures on, but putting on e minis today, not too sure about that. But feels left hand side, but the chart is saying neutral. So we'll just leave it alone. All right. That'll be it for now. Uh, we're focusing left hand side dollar yen this morning. We'll be watching uh, cable if we get up to 139.90 again. And Euro dollar and dollar Swiss for the European CPI 95.34 and 122.73. Good luck out there, boys. We will see you at the New York Open. Ciao.